Today I am going to show you some of the best font management apps for Mac and Windows. If you are a designer, web designer, UI designer or uh, book designer or whatever, you might have a large or huge amount of fonts like I have. I have like 2700 fonts right now and they are increasing day by day. So uh, most of the time you need to uh, get the font you like or something like that. So let me show you some of the apps. First we are going to cover the Windows apps which are mainly free so uh, the top one I use or the best one are basically one of them is this font base uh, font base dot uh, font b f b a dot s c this is the website you can uh, search online for font base it is it's in a beta version right now so it has a lot of bugs so it is not stable I do not recommend you to use it um, uh, for uh, your projects or um, just test it out if you want to let me show you how it works this is the uh, basically the app and uh, here we have this uh, uh, left navigation bar recently added these are the recently added ones I can change the background or uh, font color so this is how it look like and this is a very nice feature then we have uh, favorite fonts which is right now empty okay then we have this geometric font I added uh, I created new collections over here and you can click this button and create a new collection like um, sans serif fonts okay and this is another bug you can see uh, my screen is limited to this area I uh, there is a scroll bar over here then you can see the system fonts if you want to these are the system fonts installed by different softwares um, okay now uh, it is not very accurate because this uh, m plus 1c regular is not a system font I installed it it is a free font and uh, then we have all fonts favorites and something like that then we have few other, other options like changing the size and uh, then we have this uh, line height I guess just a spacing over here then we have few more options like kerning ligatures common discretionary historical uh, turning them on there are a lot of few other options also aligning the text refreshing this to the default and this is how we can see our fonts um, I think it's very promising but still have a lot of bugs like you can see over here brush style and other if I uh, I have these collections on the left if I try to install a newer version of this same app uh, normally I lose all of these collections so this is a bit risky for me you can you can see over here you can click this uh, add to favorite and it will be added to your favorite fonts like this one and uh, also you can pin it up to the top if you click over here you can see in the all fonts this one is at the top so you can bring your uh, most used fonts or most like fonts at the top like pinning them at the top so uh, have some cool features okay next one is this uh, nexus font let me show you its website this is uh, xyles.net nexus font this is the best one I guess for me okay you can type the uh, text over here uh, you want to you can change the colors like this one okay let's see how it goes with this one okay this is very good because these uh, you can see the names of these fonts turn to white this is very nice okay now uh, this is another one and it has almost the same features you can see over here and it loads or scans the fonts very fast too uh, I can add these uh, serif fonts like this one and uh, I can click add to collection and create serif fonts like this okay I have one in the collection then if I go to again installed it again loads so if my I might have installed any new one and let's change the background to white okay this is very nice uh, I can type the word over here like um, organic green and I can uh, search the best font that matches this uh, uh, 
drag it down and see which one looks good uh, this one is looking good uh, with this theme and uh, few others like this one okay so this is very nice and this is very stable you can also change the size textiles uh, so check this out and uh, tell me if you like it or not and then there is a third option which is also free one this is called font, font runner uh, it is just okay i have it's also free on windows font runner it is uh, also have a good preview window you can change the text whatever you want and um, there is a feature over here like new project but if you try to drag or click over here you cannot uh, add any font to this one i do not understand how to uh, add any font to this collection so for me i think it's pretty useless uh, just a font previewer very good pro font preview you can change anything you like i like it not very much okay so this is custom text to written over here so it is also a very nice one but lacks a lot of uh, features like this collection or adding favorites so i will this uh, just leave it to you guys to decide but this is not a very good option okay so top one is nexus font for windows then i am coming back to uh, other options for uh, mac so let's talk about mac okay now on mac we have mostly paid apps and uh, there are not uh, very few free apps and uh, one of them is this font matrix.be uh, this is it has a windows and mac version both one i haven't tried it because i found it very difficult to download there is one more free is this uh, linotype font explorer x older version which is uh, i guess uh, 3.1 i guess version 1.2.3 and uh, this is a bit older version right now they are charging for it this one this is basically the app new font explorer x pro 5 it is right now fifth version but uh this older version is free you can download it and test it if you want to and use it freely uh, it uh i think it seems mostly like the one uh i showed you nexus font you can have collections and other things i am just looking at the different uh screenshots it is very extensive i guess and uh okay then we have uh, another free one over here no i think it's not free one it's shareware so let's close this one okay then we have this extensis font management and uh, it's still looks like the same preview and same features i have seen before left side panel uh, with some collections and it works well with windows and mac and uh, all your design apps okay i think it has it has some cloud functions with it too uh, so you can secure your collection this uh, font explorer this one also i don't know how much it costs uh, then we have few more apps small apps this one is typeface your favorite font app and it is very lightweight i guess and it is also for mac i think it's just 10 bucks or 10 dollars okay this is my favorite one um, with regard to you know its features i haven't used it yet but it looks promising okay number 1 okay this one is i rate it at the top right font 3.0 okay now it can preview sync it can sync your fonts across different uh, computers it can install manage your mac computers from even drop to uh, dropbox or google drive and you can turn off any fonts disable any font enable any font these are the features over here you can filter them and uh, you can organize them in different lists 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्रोजेक्ट वन प्रोजेक्ट टू और सैन सैरिफ सैरिफ और फेवरेट फोन समथिंग लाइक दैट देन देर इज़ अज आईकॉन लाइब्रेरी विद इट एंड अ लॉट ऑफ फंक्शंस ओवर हेयर एंड आई थिंक इट इज़ द बेस्ट वन फॉर मैक बिट प्राइसी फोर्टी बर्ग्स एंड यू कैन गो टू देयर वेबसाइट एंड सी विच वन यू नो सूट्स यू बेस्ट Uh, but from my point of view this one is the best app uh, i have seen online and uh, so okay this is all about the font management apps uh, for mac and windows and uh, i hope you in- enjoyed all the uh, apps i shared with you and uh, do try them out and uh, see you in the next ses- session